Soon finish. You know me, I can't preach for long. I've told you again and again that if the Bible teaches anything at all, from all the teachings of the Lord Jesus Christ, it is that nothing goes for nothing. Oh, salvation is free because Jesus paid for it with his blood. Now you are born again. What are the expectations of God from you? Because we have come. Waiting to receive from God miracles beyond expectations. But he's also <laughs> expecting certain things from us. For example, in 1 Peter chapter 1 from verse 18 to 19, 1 Peter 1 from verse 18 to 19, the Bible says, because you are bought with the precious blood of the Lamb. You are a very expensive commodity in the hand of the Most High. You are bought, not with silver and gold, but with the blood. And he says, God expects you to glorify him with your body. The moment you are born again, you are no longer your own. You have been bought, not with silver and gold, but with the blood of the Lamb. The, your body is not your own. God expects from you that you don't use your body just anyhow. So when you hear somebody say, I can do whatever I like with my body, you know that fellow is not born again. Because your body is not your own. You are bought with the precious blood of the Lamb. And so God expects from you according to 1 Corinthians chapter 6 from verse 18 to 20 1 Corinthians 6 18 to 20 that from the moment you are born again you flee every form of sexual immorality Because it's not your body. <laughs> you can't do what you like with your own body anymore because it belongs now to the one who has paid your dowry, the Lord Jesus Christ. He expects you from the moment you are born again translated out of darkness into light he expects your light to shine Matthew chapter 5 from verse 14 to 16 Matthew 5 14 to 16 he said the moment you are born again you become the light of the world and your light must shine so that people will see your good works and give glory to your Father in heaven, the one who bought you with his blood. He expects you through your action, your words, your evangelism to shine. 
The moment you are born again, it says you are no longer ordinary. You are now the salt of the earth. And among so many things that salt does, is that it destroys corruption. Salt is what you use when you don't have fridge and you want to preserve fresh meat. You rub salt on it to keep flies away, keep corruption away. Salt is a fertilizer. It can be used as a fertilizer to cause growth. Salt, of course, is to make things sweet. The word of God says, the white of an egg has no taste until you add salt to it. And he expects you to be the salt of the earth. To be the destroyer of corruption in your place of work. 